So after you're done, then you just put the rest on your son's face. Ah! Oh, I hate it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah, you gotta try it. Why? 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 Hi, mommy. Why? Why are you not dressed for YouTube? Stop. You look beautiful. You're just scrubbing there, making Beauty a little bottle. I am the beast. Yes, I am the beast. <laughs> uh, Lexi's gonna show you how to make her very own binoculate pie. Binoculate. Lexi's binoculate pie. Hey, what yeah. you doing over there? Later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my awesome shake. Probably not today, though. Later today in this video. So here's what we're using. We've got some cinnamon, some chocolate morsel things, coconut oil, and peanut butter. But do they have to use coconut oil? No. What can they use instead? Well, you can use any oil. Any oil, even a booger picking oil. Ew. So you need one banana to mash it. Yep. And then you need a second banana for? Which we're gonna use half so we can slice up and put on the top. Nice. All right, let the mashing begin. Mash banana, mash banana. Mash banana. Who says that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Fariki. Rafiki. Wait, what? Rafiki. Rafiki. Oh. It looks like weird butter. It looks weird. Right. You have to mash it on like, what I do is I mash it until there's a, a couple chunks left from the banana. It's not mashed fully. Oh. And an easier way is if you just blend it, but then there wouldn't be as much let, chunk let, as... Let me show you guys how to mash. You ready? Ugh. Yeah, that's Ugh. what I'm doing. Ugh. Mike is just patting Mike it is making music. He's like... So make sure the banana is all mashed up. Next, we're mixing in... Cinnamon! Yeah, so I think this is a good amount. Yeah, we don't really measure out. We just kind of go by yeah. judgment. Yeah. Judgmental people. Judgmental people. <laughs> we are judgmental people. Oh, now all of a sudden you're dressed for YouTube? No, what? I was wearing the same thing. I know. So, why are you not hiding from the camera now? Because no matter what, you're going to put me on it. Because you're beautiful. Didn't you and I love you with all my heart, not just a part of it, the whole part of it. Blood flows throughout my heart for you. No, you yeah. got a half left. There's something in your tooth. So next you need this old piece of waffle from yesterday Ew, as the, no. oh I was just kidding, I was just kidding. Ew, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's milky, it's milky. Ew, why is the coconut oil like that? Hi Chase, what are you watching? Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa? That's a weird saying. How could that be possible? Your uncle and grandpa at the same time. That's not possible. Uh -huh. Alright, next up, you need to use any kind of oil. We're coating the pan mm -hmm. with coconut oil. Yeah. Because it's good for your brain. It is good for your brain. You can use any oil. Even the ones that are bad for your brain. I'm just kidding, there's no such thing. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Make sure you get the sides. Yeah, Next up is peanut butter. Yep. So how much should they use? Um, well, it depends on how much you want. Like if you want peanut butter, then you want peanut butter. <laughs> that makes lots of sense. So, Definitely you gotta coat the whole you have to coat the whole bottom though, right? Yeah. No. It looks like poop. And you wanna make it all flat and even. So after you're done, then you just put the rest. On your son's face. Ah! Oh, I hate it. And if you have a peanut allergy, you can skip the peanut butter. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, Mike, what happened to your face? <laughs> Next, you have to put the bananas on top of the peanut butter and spread it around. Put it on top of the peanut butter. The chocolate is in the fruits and vegetables section. You just microwave it. If you don't want to get this kind, you probably could use regular little chocolate morsels, but you yeah, have to melt it. Yeah, but what I did with the other one, I just melted chocolate chips. Oh, okay. With the other ones. Uh, uh. Hey, Pizza Steve is on TV. Hey, man. What? How you doing here? Good. Good? And, wh and what's Sean doing? You struggling to drink that bottle? Are you struggling to drink that bottle? <laughs> you 
You're so adorable. You're always smiling. Bunch of fake ghosts. Come on, come on. Bunch of fake ghosts. Come on, John. Come on, John. Watch out. There's a fake ghost right by your head. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. Haha, <laughs> you didn't punch me. Once your chocolate's done, nah. Oh, look at that. That's so good. Should we have frozen it first? Probably. Probably should have froze it a little bit so that the chocolate doesn't seep into the banana. But we'll make it work, right? Yeah. We're, we're skipping a step because we don't have all day to make a tutorial. Yeah. When you're done. Lick this spoon. Mm. <laughs> and next, make sure you have your swords and your lightsabers ready to slash your sister. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> All right, no more, no more. Let's skip that step. Let's go to the next, the real next step, which is cutting the banana in half. Ready? Hi. Yeah. There we go. Perfection. <laughs> Next, peel the banana. Ooh, banana. Next, put the bananas on the top. Put the bananas on the top. Will you try a banana now? Banana. Semi-final step is what to put it where? In the freezer. Microwave. Wait, what? Oven. Wait, what? The dit? Oh, fine, in the dishwasher. No, I said In the it. sink. No! Okay. It's too perfect to belong in the sink. Oh, watch, your, watch your white blousey dress. Minnie Mousey. Okay, now. Dun, 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 dun. Wrong music. Boom, boom, da boom, da boom. Gotta put it in the freezer. Do the do the dance. Put it in the freezer. Shake, shake your pants. If you don't have pants, pants to shake, shake that belly and make the earthquake. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, you're not supposed to stop and touch a light. Yes, he is. He is? Yes. Stop and touch the light. You're 40. That was whack. Next, you leave it in the freezer for how long? About six, seven days? Two weeks? No. One month? Chase, how long? Three years? Maybe 40 minutes to an hour. 40 to an hour? Stop being corny. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> Many hours later. Dun, 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 dun. It's ready. There's pampers right there. Those are for the butts in case the babies pee and poop and do number three. Okay. Alrighty, use your parents' help. If you need to cut it. Cause it could be a little tricky. And there's a little look. The peanut butter isn't fully frozen. We had it in for what, like four or five hours? Taste test though, how is it? Really good. All right, so if you guys wanna make that, we hope that this helped you. But if you want the peanut butter to be frozen, keep it in for probably, I don't know, six to eight hours. Yeah. Oh, mommy, wait, come taste it. It's kind of biased if the person who makes the pie tries it and says it's good. So let's let mommy try it. Taste test Moomy. Taste test. Who's that? You can try that. That was my piece. But Ew, you... Is that your fork? No. Nope. Why do you say ill? <laughs> Ow. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't we didn't keep it in long enough to freeze the peanuts or the butter. Really? It was like in longer than last time. Uh -huh. All right. Big bite. So delicious. It's good. Yeah. Should they make it? Make it so well. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Okay, naked Chase, take a bite. Mmm. I love go walks. All right, thumbs up for Lexi's binoculate pie. Woo! What's, What's up? up? All right, so today Mike wants to show you how to make Mighty Mike's banana blast. This is a real drink that he makes weekly, if not like five times a day. And he wants to sh he wants to share with you how he does it. So let's and tell it's him. It's so good that my grandpa's gonna sell, sell it in his store. Yeah, and now basically, it's all, all healthy drinks. You can drink as much as you want, but it tastes like a treat. Let's use eight ounces of milk, right? Yeah, eight ounces. Eight ounces of milk. We're gonna use almond. Up to here. Hi guys. 
Hey, Chase. Oh, yeah, Chase is naked. Cool. Okay. So I add eight ounces. That's right there. And put one and a half frozen bananas inside of the blender. Okay. One more piece. So one and a half bananas. Frozen. Yeah. Put your top but on. There's still more coming. You gotta shake it a little bit. Next, get some vanilla extract. How much? Just one full cap that was on here. Okay, so just use your judgment, right? Next up. A little cinnamon. Shake. Don't put too much. Woo! Oh, that's good. Next step is honey. You just need a little bit because you don't want it to make it too sugary because we're adding stevia. Which is? Um, like a healthy sugar. A healthy sugar. But if you don't have stevia, which you probably don't, if you do, then let us know in the comments. You could just use regular sugar, but just a pinch, right? Yeah. Like this. Ow. Sorry. A little tiny bit stevia. It looks like it's like, looks like powdered sugar. Yeah. This is optional if you want to make it a meal, but we're not going to for this video. But because you could put it's dark outside. It's dark outside? <laughs> yeah. So you would use raw organic vegan protein, vanilla flavored, and then we're not gonna use it right now because I already had dinner. If you want to use it, just put one one whole scoop inside of there. Then it'll taste chalky. So now we're all good. So now we're gonna blend it. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. All right. That's creamy. We're all done. Now, now we didn't we use have... ice because the bananas were frozen, but they yeah. could if they want. Two ice cubes. Okay. Just to make it a little cold. And then we just got a tiny cup of ice. Alright, is it done, Mike? Yep. Alright, so now let's give our first customer a little sample. Okay, try it and see what you think. Wait, wait, oh! Oh! oh. oh. That was a waste of my awesome smoothie. Is it good? More like a shake. Yeah. Mmm. You like it? Okay. Okay, now it's Mike's turn. I'm, I'm excited. Let's see. I'm excited. Wow! That smells awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so good! Yeah, you gotta try it. And it's healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a little healthier if you add the protein. Wow. Oh no. That I I rate that like an eight. Me too. I taste the ice because I bite it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's bait. Oh no. So there's basically nothing unhealthy about this, right? Mhm. Mm so you can kind of have it like a snack. You can probably skip the extra sugar and the vanilla. And a little bit of cinnamon and honey is actually good for you, especially if you get local honey. So it's a good, it's a good overall. Honey is actually good for you when you have a um a sore throat. Yeah. All right. So thumbs up if you like Mike's recipe. Mm. And. My cup. What? My cup. And here's Chase's cup, which tells you how to make a cereal milkshake, but we're not doing that. Guys, look, look, come here. Look, look. We can't use this water. Yeah, cause it. Because it's filtered, right? Yeah. Ah. And that's Chase's tutorial on how you get water. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, I declare thumb war. <laughs> I win. All right, guys, peace out. Oh. Have a fun day. Oh, nice cuphead. All right, so now we need to find out which one he likes the most. All righty, Sean, in front of you, you have sweet potato, mango, and green bean. Hey, cereal. 
Oh yes, you're really flat. Which one do you like the most?